Let's do the let's do the debate, okay? Let's do this. Hello, 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 hello. Hello, C Space. Hello. Can you hear me? I have a request. Oh boy. Yes. My friend, I am not the expert on the stocks. I have a stock expert with me who I have been friends with for a long time, and I want wait, him. Wait, in hold, hold on a second. Wait, give me just a second. First of all, C Space, what are your pronouns? What? What are your pronouns? Just, just the normal ones. What do you mean the normal ones, my dude? That one was fine. Let's go with dude. Okay. Do you use he, him pronouns, she, her pronouns, they, them, or neo pronouns? Just please tell me. It's not a hard question. I'm a man. Okay. Do you use he, him pronouns? Do you use she, her pronouns, or do you use they, I'm a man. Do you use he, him pronouns? Do you use she, her pronouns, or do you use they, them pronouns? I'm asking you. A I am a male. Okay. A man. So, uh, would would you like me to ask that again? There are men. Use male pronouns. Male pronouns. Okay. So there you, you mean go. like? Do you mean he, him, then, or do you mean she, her? Because there are some men who do prefer she. No, her there pronouns. aren't. Yes, don't there don't are. don't put this crap. Oh, yes, with me. I want are. I want my. I'm here to talk stocks and trade. I'm no, not wait, here wait, to do wait, pronouns. Wait, this is a simple question. This is a literal question I ask every it's single. It's not day. a simple question. There's all kind of crap you're throwing at me. I wait, said wait, I'm a man, and you said, hold, hold, "Well, it doesn't matter. You can you can be a man who's a C space. I'm gonna need you to calm the fuck down. You just walked into my show. I've never spoken to you before. I ask I every, haven't. excuse me. I ask every single guest who comes on here what their pronouns are. You're the uh -huh. only one who has ever come on here and made a big uh -huh. deal about it. If you it's feel- It's not a big deal. Excuse me, excuse me, I'm not finished. If you have a serious problem with pronouns or if you're unsure about your own, that is okay. I can use gender neutral pronouns if you'd prefer. Just but don't I, use pronouns then. <laughs> Okay, well, that's very difficult to have a conversation without using any pronouns because the English language utilizes No, I'm just gonna call you your name and you can call me my name. Okay, I'm going to uh, I'm going to put uh, any all Then because you don't seem to care. I don't give a crap. Okay. Well, uh, thank you very much for coming on here uh, I, I have no idea what you actually want to talk about because you never actually told me what it was that you wanted to discuss the GameStop stuff. I want to talk okay. about stocks, and I want to talk about why, at the end of the day, all of it's pointless and doesn't mean much. Okay. I mean, that sounds, um, like, surprisingly, um, like, doom-pilled, but all right. Um, no, no, it's quite the opposite. Oh. It's actually, yeah. Yeah, okay. I mean, it sounds remarkably black-pilled. Um, I don't know what that is. Do you know what black pilled means? It, it's like nah. when you've given up on life and you're basically like, oh yeah, it's a, uh, it's nihilistic. Nothing matters. Learning things doesn't matter. That's um, not true. That's not true at all. Okay. Well, I mean, that's fair. So, um, so why don't you tell me what, uh, what, what your take is, and then we'll go from there. Or what issue you have with me that that means that you want to come okay. up here and talk to me? So, so everyone's been covering the same crap. Left, right, doesn't matter. Sure. And here's the issue, right? Uh -huh. The problem with stocks is they're completely illusory. It doesn't matter what you do with them. You can speculate all day on money. Doesn't mean it's worth anything at the end of the day. I'll tell you, if I go out and I make money at my job, a thousand dollars of that money is worth more than a billion in speculative uh, industries. Hmm. And I have uh, Mr. Lorenzo, who is a Wall Street trader. Well, he was a Wall Street trader. He quit to run a gym. And I would like to have him in here okay, with me. I, listen, I was—I don't know who your buddy is, um, but he's fine. I, I don't really care. Like he's a liberal. I don't wait. What does that mean? What does any of that mean to me? It, mean, it means you can trust him because I know you. Okay, first of all, I just want to say that I was invited to this show, and then the mods banned me from the website. So that's a that's a little no, no, cognitive no, 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 dissonance, no. isn't it? Okay, okay, okay. Holy shit, dude. Um. What happened was you came into my chat during a raid and you had the name Donald Trump is life or something along those lines. Hold on, that wasn't a raid. I was on my own. Well, okay. Then you came in randomly on your own and you were being a troll in chat. And so people- I came in because I decided yeah. to, not oh, randomly. Donald Trump the god. Okay, well, that's fine. Sure. Then you came in okay. and that's great. Um, but you came in and you were posting some stuff in chat that was uh, out and, and you have a name like Donald Trump the god, which tends to flag uh, our chat for- you know, probably uh, somebody who's coming in to troll or cause shit. 
And I don't know about you, but we have a pretty chill community here. We do discuss politics all the time, but we don't do a whole lot of like hyper contentious argument in chat. That's just the rules of my chat. It's pretty chill. Um, and, uh, and so the mods determined that you were being annoying and banned you out of chat as is their right to do. And I said that I would talk with you because I didn't know who you were and because I liked the debate. So now here we are. Um, and you seem to be mad about stocks or something. Your, your complaints. I'm mad about it. What? I'm not mad about it. Okay. Well, you're very worked up about it and that's okay because I understand. <laughs> it's stupid. Okay. Well, I mean, a lot of things are stupid, but that doesn't mean they're not important to discuss. Um, mm, I don't know. so, so what? Here, here's where I want to start. Okay. Now, again, I'm going to keep appealing to what Mr. Lorenzo told me because we had a long discussion about this, but sure. if he can't come in here, then I have to occasionally defer to him through well, text. I mean, okay, I mean, we can bring in Mr. Lorenzo if you want to, but I don't know, like, what any of that will have to do with what we're talking about. Like, I guess I'm wondering what you're... He has the numbers and he has the studies and he's read the stuff on it, okay, whereas but... I'm... I know, but we haven't even gotten to, like, claims. Like, I don't even know if I disagree with you at this point. Like, I do disagree with the idea that, right? like, stocks is just, like complete fantasy that seems very very reductive and not very accurate um but uh but 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 yeah um why don't we have a conversation first and then we can see if mr lorenzo wants to come in afterwards okay well, let's let's get the claims settled all right number one following stocks is pointless it is speculative money that money needs to be paid out by lenders and loaners uh -huh. meaning uh -huh company that you make that money from will never achieve the ability to pay you therefore it is a useless gamble at best and i don't i don't like people who play lottery either so i'm consistent I mean, there that doesn't like that doesn't necessarily mean you're consistent a a uh, a mortgage is a loan that's speculative but nonetheless a mortgage can allow you to get a house However, you can use a mortgage to determine the value of a neighborhood by an objective standard to be building codes, how closely those houses follow those things, uh, whether or not pools are in code. There's all kinds of crap I out don't there. I think that that's part of most mortgages. That's other. Oh, it is. It is. In my neighborhood, we have a ton of codes. Sure. I mean, there's code, there's housing codes, but I don't think those have anything to do with your actual mortgage. Like there's sometimes additional codes that are like housing codes and mortgages have like very, very tangential connections. That's not a part of your mortgage. But the fact of the matter is what you're, wait, what you're describing here is could be basically anything. You could say that uh, money itself, like a, a dollar bill is a gamble because a dollar bill doesn't actually represent anything. It represents a country's economy's general confidence in their own currency to the weeds there i want to give an exact example well, that's not of that. a weed, though that's not a weed that's i mean it's, it, it's about weeds now you know what i'm saying what i'm saying is okay so let's say that a couple moves into a neighborhood okay and the neighborhood is like really nice okay. that couple okay. let the grass grow up to freaking thigh high length that is going to hurt the value of that neighborhood Oh, but what does that have anything to do with the stock market? Because it, well, no, no, what I'm saying is the code that they're not following, the standards that they are not meeting, it's going to start affecting the value of the homes around it, which means like we right, can but say. But you do realize that's like what you are talking about right now is speculative. Speculative, but it's also objective in a way because mm, you can. No, it isn't because grass, grass, height, height. grass height is subjective and those are. Grass height is no, you can measure it. It's you, there. Yeah, but, but there's yeah. but but what people like or don't like about grass height is subjective. Some people But the code is not. And if the grass height exceeds three and a quarter inches, then you are out of code. Okay. But you do realize that it is subjective. Those codes, those standards that are drawn up for whatever code you're talking about. And by the way, most of the codes that you're referring to are not like written into uh written into like city law. Those are usually um what are they called? Um, homeowners, yeah, associations. homeowners associations and homeowners associations are, are citizen, pr they're private citizen organizations. They're not even government. So I'm just, I'm just confused as to how any of this connects back to what we're talking about. I'm, I'm those private citizen organizations often speak with town council and those okay. things. Sure. Determine the value of well, all your, what, 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 what's all the point? You're saying that things are complicated. What does any of that have to do no, no, no. with I'm stocks? Things are complicated. However, there is a level of objectiveness to a mortgage uh, versus a stock. 
uh there is an objective level to a stock as well a stock is literally that a, a piece of a legally binding piece of paper that states that you have ownership of a certain percentage of a company now i do <laughs> now hold on a second i have a lot of critiques of the stock market i have a lot of critiques of private property but the idea that like a stock is just like um like it's just like a fantasy is not true if you have stocks in a in a valuable company that thing is absolutely worth money i mean how do you think that somebody like elon musk as much as i fucking despise the guy elon musk a lot of his wealth is 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 in holdings that he has and those are nonetheless very valuable and they allow him to uh, because he has these types of holdings he's allowed he's able to purchase other things he's able to live a life of luxury um despite most of his holdings being in stocks because, so i would because, argue that those are just as i mean how is that any less real than anything else how is that I'll less real you. than money i got it yeah. all right here goes right you cannot pump and dump a mortgage you can pump and dump a stock you can force a faux value that is to say a fake amount of worth into a stock by having a bunch of and now it's a crime i'm not saying to do this but if they did do that that is one of the schemes that actually i watched take place in the 90s when my neighborhood was full of a bunch of freaking uh i don't want to say when I, am i allowed to curse yeah you can curse just don't say I'm fucking don't say any slurs like no slurs so a bunch of people i don't like started doing that and they were ruining the stock market of all the stores around us because they would purchase these stocks they would pump and dump and they put several people out of business but what you cannot okay. do that with is something like a mortgage or a car wait a minute that you absolutely wait hold on that's not true though the, the the housing the housing crisis the 2008 housing crash was caused by subprime mortgages which is the same thing as as it's there it's obviously technically different like how it actually works out but the sub the the uh the subprime mortgage crisis was exactly the same thing it was um a higher value being put on mortgages that could never be fulfilled that could never be paid so it is speculative as well so that's just not true that like I, some of the stuff you're saying i have to like message steven directly to ask about uh, so there might be well, some why do you come to debate if you don't know anything about the topic Oh, I do know. I know enough, but well, it sounds like you're mad about it. It sounds like you're mad about the topic, but you don't actually understand it all that much. I'm not mad about the topic at all. The 2008 housing crisis was caused by bad short sales being taken advantage of by short squeezes. No, it was not. That is yes, not. That is not what the housing. That is not. That is not what the caused the housing crisis. The housing crisis. Was, it's called. It's called the subprime mortgage crisis. It has nothing to do with short selling, or. It, there is some level of short selling involved, but it had to do. Uh -huh. It had to do with uh, with. Great Depression is too. Look what? on Wikipedia. The Great Depression was caused by the same thing. The Great Depression was caused by the same thing as the housing crisis. I don't think yes. so. Yes, it was caused true. by. Yes, bad. Okay, well you can look it up, but it was bad short sales being taken advantage of by short squeezes. Mm, I don't. Maybe I don't think so but uh but, but yeah, I, don't know, I don't know enough uh to be able to say i'm pretty sure that the 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 like great depression was caused by like a massive amount of of uh causes causing like a huge market panic like wasn't um if i'm not mistaken wasn't the like great depression uh triggered by like the dust bowl because like a fuckload of farming uh farming property that was um like a bunch of farmers basically bank went bankrupt in the Midwest because the entire Midwest was having a giant drought that went on for years. And so all of their properties went under and corporate farm like corporate farms bought up all their farmland and displaced them uh, to be able to like use um, to like farm their land with advanced machinery uh, that they couldn't do themselves. So it displaced a whole bunch of workers, right? One way of looking at it. However, another thing that's important to remember wait, 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 is that's that like a, wait, wait, that's like that's like a much i don't know like that's like, that's like a pretty you, you you claim that it was like that it was like gamestop stock was short like short sold in the 1920s or something yeah i know but you made a really really broad like a really you made a very specific not, claim about what, what you made a very specific claim about what caused the great depression so i want was it broad or specific no no no. I, I misspoke and said the word broad but it was specific you claimed that it was specifically short sells and short squeezes that caused the great depression i don't think that's accurate 
is accurate, though. Also, I don't think to remember that World War One played a huge part in the the crash of the first stock uh, market. Okay, but then that would be to my argument, not to yours. That would support my argument that it wasn't just um that it wasn't just short sells. Oh, that would support my argument because no, if you look at it this way, the Dust Bowl was also. What? The Dust Bowl, we joke around sometimes in uh, our historical talks because it was almost more like a snowball <laughs> at a certain point. What? You know, like, and the, all of the misreporting that's been happening and the things that have been tied up and confused with the, the causes, when you can just look it up and see that it was the short cells and World War One, it's pretty obvious. Okay, like, now, it's, now it's World War One and short cells? It's World War One, short cells, and the Roaring Twenties. That whoa, 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 you're changing your entire argument here. This is what I'm talking about. Like you just keep you you've changed from it being oh it was exactly it was short cells and and, and short squeezes that caused the Great Depression and 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 now you're saying it's the Roaring Twenties and and World War One. So what? That's my argument. You've just accepted my argument, which is right. that it was a much more. Well, complicated. Why am I making it if it's your argument? This is silly. Um, we have, so, I have well, a quote from a historian right here. I want to get to a baseline and establish what we actually like are saying because this feels yeah, like I'm nothing, being trapped. nothing on the Wikipedia article of the 1929 crash says anything about short squeezes. In fact, we have a quote right here. Wait, 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 wait. You made claims. I'm gonna counter them. We. I was just given a clip. For, I was just given a quote from a historian here. While the stock market crash of 1929 marked the start of the crisis, it wasn't contrary to proper be, po popular belief. The sole reason for it. Many other factors combined to create the Great Depression, from ill-timed tariffs to misguided moves by the v then young Federal Reserve. The crash was not a cause, but a triggering event, says Barry M. Nit uh, Mitnick, a professor of business administration and of public and international You're affairs at the University of Hitchcock, Pittsburgh. God. Yeah, so I, I don't think that, that historians would agree with you that it was like um that it was just like a short squeeze but, okay. that caused this. However, however, Investopedia, which I would like to link you Sure, please do. Exp yeah, okay, speaks exactly to this. Let me get my link. Okay. Investopedia? Yeah. Okay. Just do you a couple think that there might be do you think that like investopedia might not be the best source for uh like I historical analysis? Not the best source of historical investment data i because i don't know isn't i thought invest i thought, wait a second i thought invest, I, as, as far as i knew investopedia was specific was like specifically meant to be like a um like a quick handbook to understand investing terms not like a history source but also i don't understand like uh, let, let's 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 like go a step further here, and because I'm really wondering uh, what, what's your point, I'm, but I'm wondering what your point is. Like, so even there if the Great Depression was caused by shorts and squeezes, what does that mean? What it means is that I'm right. That's, I mean, no, no, how, how does that mean that you're right? How does that mean that you're right? You're... That's why I said it happened in the first place was the short sells and the squeezes. The squeezes happen exactly as a result of the short sells. Wait. That doesn't. That actually. That actually doesn't make any sense. What you're actually. It's doing. on investopedia. Okay. What I I'm sent asking the is, what is your your claim? Your original claim was something in the ballpark of stocks are fake, and I'm wondering. Stocks are being manipulated. All right, that's yeah, what it I, is. Yeah, there's no where well, there's no disagreement about stocks being manipulated. Stocks are manipulated all the time. The market is fucking full of shit. But that doesn't mean that they're Thank meaningless. You. That doesn't mean that they're meaningless or or fake or anything like that. It, it just means that they're vulnerable to certain things. That's like being like, ugh, like like that's like being like, oh, I really hate that gravity exists. Gravity is fake. No, if gravity, gravity is, is real, gravity. it just might gravity not work in the way you want it to. We're talking about two different things. No, we're not. We're talking. I'm, I'm making. Oh, I mean, we are talking about two different things. We are talking not about speculative. We are what? Gravity is not speculative. It's a man-made concept. We've proven. So are. So is a market. No, they're just, they're just different, different systems. systems. They're can, different systems with say, different rules. No, no. You can be. Here's what you can do. You can't do this as a scientist. You can't say I think gravity is not real, and then everyone stops believing in it and stops happening. What you can do is you can go on CNN or any of the mainstream media outlets and say, I believe this stock is worth $500. And then you cause an artificial swelling of people all paying that for it. And now they're saying it is, you know, yeah. true. Yeah. You're, okay. Yeah. So crap. I, it can be taken seriously by anyone. Wait. Okay. So are you arguing? What? So I, I'm, I'm just trying to understand what you're actually. It's arguing. a lottery that we can manipulate. It's fucked up. 
okay if you're if what you came in here to say was that the market is fucked up i agree with you the no, market no, no, no. is fucked up that. i'm yes. also saying that it's not worth covering the concepts of a bunch of redditors who who think they're playing god with some kind of lottery uh, to no, begin with i totally with. disagree with you on that 100 oh, no, percent. okay then then that's our disagreement is that it's not worth covering a bunch of grown children who are basically playing board games and the lottery isn't fair if it's rigged rigged against us you know like um, that's why you don't do it. And I mean, in this I case, there's hold on a second. Though. Conservative ideals, okay. because you have all these people talking about how this is a great revolution. When these these redditors, they don't want anything to do with it. Did you watch my seg any of my segments at all? Well, um, I actually was told by Stephen that you were basically doing the leftist gospel. <laughs> what? But who's Stephen? Uh, who's Stephen? Stephen Lorenzo. He's the person I asked to bring in here. He's a huge liberal, huge left guy. Like. We're actually friends because he's he's actually pretty smart. Okay, well, uh, so y some guy told you that yeah, you his name. Some guy named Stephen told you um, that I was doing the leftist gospel, but you didn't. By the way, you're excuse me. Off right now. You're excuse sending me, me a lot excuse of me. Excuse, me. excuse me. Please chill for a second. I was talking. Um, I gotta tell you, you're losing a fan. What's that? and tell you that you might lose a fan because you're pissing him off i i'm i'm pissing off lorenzo he wanted to be here because he's my guy I, i'm sorry but you don't control my show dude this no, is my I show you that, i didn't i you said you wanted to come debate me and some other now you've brought along somebody else some other like party me I've already made my several good points, and now oh, I just want to. Wait, you have what I... points have you made? You literally didn't you make any points. You have Wikipedia. What? You didn't send me a no. link. It's in your fucking DMs. You sent me a Facebook link. I am not I'm clicking not a Facebook it. link from you. Okay, I'll change it for you. Send me a link. I'm not clicking a random fucking Facebook link from you. That's weird as shit. And and secondly, I don't know who Lorenzo no, is. No, there. Okay, you yeah, sent me got the, the link. Bowl, Let me see what. Let's show bowl. chat what you've shown me here. You've sent me an article oh, on what short selling is. Short selling isn't a new phenomenon. It's been around since the origin of the stock market. Okay, I know what Thank short you. selling is. What are you What are you talking? What does that mean at all? Okay, now this is a direct question. Are you gaslighting me right now? Are you trying to gaslight me into saying that you don't know why I brought this up? Are you gaslighting me? No. I am wondering what the fuck any of the things that you have thrown Roll out down. at in this conversation. Roll down key takeaways. It says it right there. <sighs> you want me to scroll down to key takeaways? I would like you to physically scroll your mouse down to key takeaways. Short selling is a trading strategy, strategy in which an investor bets that a stock's price will decline. Thank you. You read, you Short read the selling wrong part. Okay. You read the wrong okay. part. Okay, all right, dumb fuck. You've been screaming into my ear. I don't know who the fuck you are. You're telling me to read a bunch of different things, and now you're in not even US telling me what to read, and you're interrupting me. So why don't you tell me exactly what case you're trying to make, C-Space? And was suspect to more subject to more scrutiny and regulations following the market crashes in 1987, 2001, 2008. Great. From that does not even make close to the argument that you made originally. Yes. No, it doesn't. This I just read it. You, have no, you do not understand how information or truth works, do you, Mr. C Space? Um, this is a, this is an, uh, stop it. Shut the fuck up for just a second because you've come in, uh, all right. You want to play that game? I will mute you. It will be very no, simple. No, don't, don't mute me. I am me. muting you right now. Now, real, real easy. Uh, enjoy being muted, C-Space, because you've come in and you've said a lot of stupid dumb shit, and you've never fucking talked to me before in my entire life. So let's take a minute and allow me to do some talking here. Because you came in here saying that stocks are fake with some dumb shit-ass argument that I have no fucking clue what you're even talking about. And then you had a meltdown over pronouns and now you're trying to tell me all this stupid shit And let me just show the chat right now what we're looking at right here is a random paragraph from Investopedia.com with zero citations and all that this 
paragraph says is in the U.S., short selling was first banned during the War of 1812, was restricted during the Great Depression, and was subject to more scrutiny and regulations following the market crashes in 1987, 2001, and 2008. The claim that you made was that short selling was the cause of the Great Depression. All that this paragraph, the key of your argument, the only citation that you've even given me in this entire fucking conversation while you've been yelling and acting incredibly smug is to say that it was restricted during these periods, not that it was the cause. I will now unmute you. Okay. So this is incredibly unfair to me. Uh, you didn't listen and you demeaned my character just now. And uh, you also- I personally believe that your character deserves to be demeaned. You came onto my you show- You haven't given me any links. Excuse me? You haven't given me any links. I haven't links. needed to give you any links. You need to give me links if you're making a claim. What? Link. You need to give me a claim? link for your claim. What claim, claim C-Space? Your claim that it wasn't caused by short cells and it was caused by the Dust Bowl or some crap. It, I didn't make a claim for that. I you said it was the no. Dust Bowl. No, you, hold on, let's let's retract. Are you, ga are you gaslighting me now, C-Space? Because if you'll recall, if you'll recall- the Disagreeing with you isn't me. gaslighting. I was in the middle of a sentence. I know- So was I. Uh, no, you were not. Yes, I was. You lit. Let gaslight me... again. All right, if you're going to just sit here and say gaslight the entire conversation, I don't You even, did. I you don't, these are rules for you, but not for me. This is unfair. I don't even know why you're here, C Space. I was here because I wanted to make a few points on the stock market being and full of shit. No and you're attacking me and muting me. I'm. Wait. I'm attting you and muting you. You're, you yes, shouted, you're attacking you're me. literally shouting over me. Because you won't so let I'm me talk. You on my own server. I've let you talk a fuckload this conversation, okay? And I don't know, like, I don't know, like, how you, like, what your understanding of, like, conversations are. I don't know what your your understanding of, right. like, um, you know, uh, having a debate right. is. But uh, I don't think it's very good so far. Now, you made a claim mm -hmm. about the Great Depression. You told Lorenzo to fuck off, by the way. That's kind of screwed up. I don't, He's a liberal. I, I don't think I told anybody to fuck off. You told him you don't care, and I'm not going to bring a plus one in here. Meanwhile, he probably could have kept all this with, like, real cool, and he could have told right, you a bunch of cool crap right, you didn't know. Right, here, here we go. I'm going to offer you an, uh, an olive branch. Let's bring Lorenzo okay. in. Thank Get you. Lorenzo in the waiting room. Let's bring okay. Lorenzo in. This will be really funny. I don't know why you bothered to come on here and debate, if you don't know shit about what you're talking about and are instead going to tag in somebody else. But you know what? I'll talk to both of you. Let's do it. Okay. Where's Lorenzo? I'd message him. Go to the waiting room. All right. Well, tell him to get in. He's not next He's to not me. I, well, I can't. I, he, he'll go in there then. Damn. Is this this type of speed that M Mr. Lorenzo uses to uh, to get around, uh, you know, the, the stock market? Maybe Maybe that was the problem. Is that a joke about his weight? What? Is that a joke about his weight? He's a fatter guy. I I don't even know who this guy is. Sounds like he's here. Hey. Hello. Steven, Jesus, have you heard this? Uh I was listening, but uh I was also uh cooking something. What's up everybody? Okay. Mr. Mr. Lorenzo. Um real quick, I have got a quick question for you. First of all, yeah. What what name do you like to go by on stream? I just go by Steven. Steven? Okay. He also likes Mr. Lorenzo for people who've Steven, never spoken yes, to okay. him before. I, I asked him not you, C Space. My god. Now, Steven. I was just clarifying. Steven, what are your pronouns? Yeah. Uh, I usually just go by he, him. Okay, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Yeah. Okay. She's sucking up to you right now to try and look better. Excuse me? Don't, just, just ask a question. I'm just, just trying to talk. Stop buttering him up. I don't. So, Mr. Lorenzo, I don't. Why are you here? Uh, because he's my stock guy. In. Okay, C Space, you invited a guest on. Are you going to let your own guest talk, or do I need to mute you for both of us to have a conversation? Okay, listen. I just wanted to okay. – because I'm... he he gets nervous. Steven, you're here to discuss how short cells and squeezes cause the depression. That's what I've been saying. Okay. I'm a, I'm a stock guy. I mean, I don't, like, know a lot about the depression, but that's <laughs> – that sounds right, you know. That sounds right? I mean, yeah. Like I said, I'm not like knowledgeable in this. I'm like okay. I, I'm a stock guy. Uh, when you say I'm you're, not, like, when a you say you're a guy. stock guy, what do you mean by being a stock guy? I've been working on Wall Street for a few years, or I did a few years back, and uh, you know, 
I, ju- I just know quite a bit about the stock market. Okay. Uh, he said that like you had some questions about it or something. And no, I, just I didn't could... have any questions. Uh, I don't know. I feel like I just Steve, read Steve, the Steven, read Steven, the Steven. Steven. I, I oh. I'm talking to Steven. I right the now. C-space, article. C-space. I'm having a conversation with Steven right now. Calm down, please. Steven, uh, I don't know what you were told by C Space. C Space came into my chat under the username uh, Donald Trump the God and picked a fight with me and said he wanted to debate me. He never told me what he wanted to debate on, and then he came in here and said stocks are fake and that the Great Depression was caused by short sellers. And I said, yeah. I don't think that's true. My, I don't, while I'm not a historian, I've read quite a bit about the Great Depression, and it seems to me that the Great Depression might have been caused by a little more than just short selling. I want and to that, talk now. Hold on. Proceeded, no, you are not going to talk yet. I am talking. This is my show. Now. But um, I'm the guest. I don't care. <laughs> and you will not be a guest if you refuse to follow by the rules. I just here. want to tell Stephen okay. one thing. I'm going to be muting you now. No. You are now muted. C space has been muted. Uh, Steven, I'll, I'll, this is the conversation that we've had so far. So as uh-huh. of right now, I don't really have any questions for you because um, there's no, there was nothing I was confused about. I think C space made that assumption. I don't know why. Uh, I don't even know why he's arguing with me at the moment. So if you have something you would like to tell me or share with me, I'm perfectly, perfectly fine um, with doing that. Uh, but I, I'm actually rather uh, befuddled as to what's actually going on in this call right now, because it seems to me like C space doesn't know why he's here. Do you know why he's here? Um, like I said, I, I just got a message a few minutes ago. This is all new to me. Uh, he just said he wanted me in because he <laughs> wanted to talk about the stock market. Uh, okay. So, Man, I, I didn't want to sto- talk about the stock market. It was it was in fact C Space who wanted to talk to me about the stock market. I have no clue what was going on. But if if you're okay. comfortable with being here, then that's fine. I don't. I feel like you might have been roped in by this C Space fellow into something that's a little like more oh. than what you were planning for. But oh, uh, he's been my friend for years. He's a okay. little. Uh, he's he's not like you know. I'll, I'll tell you this. He doesn't like mean any harm. He's just a little. Uh, little aggressive he's always been that way True. never he's been definitely violent very though. aggressive but that's okay i can also be aggressive too uh yeah do, are you cool for me to unmute him at this point i don't, I don't care go ahead okay all right steven you know i love you but that was some fucking bullshit you were talking to me saying that this is the liberal bible and that she's getting everything wrong and that everything about the stock she's saying sounds like a big bunch of crap to you you're the one who told me all that shit like I, I don't know. I, look, I love you. You're a friend of mine, but I don't understand why okay. you get like all nervous all right, when listen, people. Wait, hold, on, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Wait. C space, my dude. I'm this talking is, to Steven. No, listen. This this is not the place for you to hash out like your personal issues with your real IRL friend. And I think. All right. You know what? Steven, call me. Steven, call me. Okay. Oh, what the fuck? Well, uh, that was very very interesting. Um, I don't know. I I. Don't know what to tell you. This sounds like uh, your IRL friend is having some issues. So maybe it would be good to talk to him off screen. Um, uh, yeah? Yeah, it would probably be a good idea. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, I'm sorry that he uh, was uh, freaking out at you and everything, you know. I, uh, it's okay. I usually just like to be chill. Yeah, just I mean, so you know, like, I'm a streamer. So I stream, you know, to a pretty big audience at this point. And uh, he he came in and wanted to have a debate with me or something, and then it's gone from there. Uh, you seem you seem like a very like a permanently kind person, Stephen. Um, Thank you. Uh, and uh, again, if you have critiques of my of some of my coverage, I'd be more than happy to have a very peaceful discussion with you about it if you have such things. Um, but again, I don't feel like my coverage was. Um, I'd never gave anybody financial advice. I was very careful to only cover this and make it. And my goal was to make it make sense to people who don't know a whole lot about stocks. Um, but yeah, uh, Stephen, uh, thank you for being willing to come on. Um, sorry uh, it went the way that it went. Um, but if you feel like you want to have a discussion in the future, feel free to DM me, okay? Yeah, uh, have a nice day. All right, bye. Well, that was really strange. <laughs>